I don't write this stuff, I live it. And let me start by explaining why everything is blue this upcoming week. So, of course, Mercury Retrograde, I forgot to buy new markers. I was eight minutes too late to go to the softer priced store, like the Target. And I went to the normal store. And I thought it was two euros. It's six euros. I have to, like, pick up another hand to show you how much it costs. I was like, no, I'm not gonna invest so much in you. Because how much are you actually investing in me? Okay, now we're over the 30 second mark. We're gonna yap. Because story time intro for upcoming week 40, 49, sorry. But as I'm going to correct this, so my best friend and I were going to meet up. And I called her and I told her, I miss you. And the silence was deafening. She didn't say I miss you back. And I was like, that actually kind of hurts. I kind of depend on you telling me that you also miss me. So I will put more effort into seeing you. So later in the week, we're, we were going to meet each other. And yeah, of course, Mercury retrograde and the trains weren't doing so well. And I was supposed to travel like two and a half hours to the other side of the country. And the first half didn't go so well. So I told her, I'm going back. I'm not going to invest in you, which you can't even invest in me. I can do it for myself. I hope you can do it for yourself too. But if you can do it for me, skedaddle. Let's start with week 49 on Monday, the 2nd of December. Happy new month. Happy new week. Happy new moon. As we start off with the fire trying between Mercury and Chiron moving retrograde. So Mercury is also moving retrograde, making things difficult, making it a little bit difficult to communicate, making it a, a little bit difficult to commute, whatever. Be aware of these things in this fire trying with Chiron moving retrograde. What exercise, what expense or what energy that you spend angers you? Because remember, we already had a fire trying between Mercury when it was moving direct slowly but direct and Chiron and we were thinking about anger it is a feeling that can also make us start doing something make us stop starting doing things so what is it that actually angers you that makes you feel like not caring that someone is also looking forward to see you you got other places to be. You got other places that people are looking forward for you to be. What are you going to do about this sudden realization, about this sudden anger which is arising as we go off to a Earth trine between Venus and Uranus moving retrograde? So Venus is in, uh, is in Capricorn. All those old traditions, old things that we really value and would like to take along. In this earth trying with Uranus moving retrograde. So Uranus eccentric is your own kind of your own kind of unique. We all have our own values, we all have our own traditions, which we like to see to true to the end. Tie up loose ends concerning what your values are and evolve from the inside out. If on the inside you feel like I actually value being told that words of affirmation let it be known and if others can't show you that be gone because you have to show yourself first this is what i do appreciate this is what i do not appreciate so others can also show you if you don't communicate what the issue is how can others see what the issue is we're going a little bit faster this upcoming week because the new moon is tomorrow it's a, it's the, it's the last, whatever, off to Tuesday, the 3rd of December, when Mercury in retrograde will be in a masculine sextile with Lilith. So remember what we said at the end of last week with Lilith in Libra. It's also the public enemies. Do not make enemies just because you are choosing yourself, just because you are valuing yourself. Do, oh, do not make public enemies. Evaluate how you are going to take off. Are you going to do it like S? Catch him like, hey, mom, I ha I'm going to be the very best that no one ever was. Skedaddle. Or are you going to be like, uh, what's her name? I think her name was Mary. Maria? Whatever. The, the, the woman of the sound of music. Are you going to be like, so long, farewell, I'll feed her saying goodbye? However you're going to do it, let it be known. Go do your ass catching. Go do your little Maria. Go do your little... Dancy dancy. 
and go to those new terrains, to those new horizons that are waiting for you. Remember if that light's shining? It's probably your fate. As we're going off to Wednesday, the 4th of the 4th of December. <laughs> when Mercury in retrograde will be in an opposition with Jupiter moving retrograde. So we've been here before, but Mercury was moving direct. Still a little like, okay, I don't know, whatever. I think I do, but you don't. We're, go we're going to get there in a bit. But this is where I actually want to say the road to a friend's house is never long. But it's also vice versa. If the friend cannot do for you what you can do for them, what they can do for themselves. Isn't it a choice to not give you, to not in, uh, in, uh, invest in you, to not want to see you be the greatest and the goodest? It takes time. It takes effort. It takes... Okay, long story short. So I had to work late, meaning I was home at like whatever. I slept at like 1, 1 30 in the a.m., and I had to wake up at like 7 so I could take the train of 7.40. You invest, you put in time, but it's not appreciated, it's not reciprocated. And we need that reciprocation. For real. We talked about this in, uh, in Scorpio season. Transactional relationships. As later in the day, the sun will be in a mutable square with Saturn moving direct in Pisces. So Saturn is the planet of building. With the dominant phrase, I achieve. You have to build something to achieve something. So do, oh, don't be codependent of, uh, of those who cannot do for themselves. We all have the same 24 hours. We all have the same 24 hours that others can also invest in you. Why would I have to travel two and a half hours when you could also like... And that's the moment, that's the point where I'm going to draw a line and make a list. Like, okay, I've done this for you, I've done this for you, I've done this for you, I've done this for you. You've done this for me, you've done this for me, you've done this for me. Is it fair? Is it honest? Is it fair to... The energy and the uh, and the source of life that you have. Hmm. Do for yourself what you want others to do for you, so you can show them what you are worth and how you should be treated. If you do not communicate that you don't like it, people are going to think you like it. Gently yapping to yourself. It's, this is a yapper. This is a yapping week. Whatever, sorry. Either way, later in the day, <laughs> Venus will be in a feminine sextile with uh, with Neptune moving retrograde still. But Neptune is almost moving direct. So Neptune is on, like, I'm going to see things clear now. And it's actually really, like I just said, do for yourself what you want others to also do for you. Because you have to show them. The illusion, the haze is going to get cleared. If you do not tell, if you do not communicate, if you do not show, they're going to think you like it. And they're going to do it even more. They're going to be in this illusion. No, not illusion. Be clear. Be fearless. Be fair. As we're going off to Friday, the 6th of September, when the sun oh, will be in a conjunction with Mercury moving retrograde. So actually, no, yeah, the sun is in a conjunction with Mercury moving retrograde. I thought Mercury's going like... No, on 14 degrees, 14 degrees is the Taurus degree. It's your unique gifts that give you your gift. So it's these values, right? It's these values. I value someone else uh, giving me these words of affirmation, call it love language, whatever. But remember, remember the time last year or something when I told you about uh, going to a friend's house and uh, her mother came home with the groceries and I thought, let me help you. It's my value. We're going to talk about it again. Do not dim your value. You have to shine your light so others can also see your light and say, I'm not the only one. I'm going to keep it in place. Keep it in place, love. Someone has to keep it in place. Someone has to keep those unique quirks. Like, oh my God, that's so weird. But it's, it, it, 
Hoe zeg je dat? It's weird, but it's my luck. Mm. With the spirituality and stuff. Again, spirit you wellity. If you want to be blowing cinnamon into your house from the, from the front door every Thursday, it's your fate. And your fate is bringing you luck. So blow the cinnamon every Thursday. Or sweep every Saturday. Or how weird, how quirky others may find it to be. Other people are not filling your portfolio, are not filling your wallet. Other people. Stay true and close to your belief, your maybe expanded belief. And spirituality also grows, right? So maybe all of a sudden you come to a certain realization. Oh, maybe I shouldn't clean my uh, clean my house with, I don't know, something on Thursday because it removes my luck. I'm saying Thursday because Thursday is Jupiter day. Jupiter rules luck. And now I've expanded your belief or your vision. What you gonna do with it? Now you know better. You know when we say do better. As we're going on through Saturday, yeah, let's see stuff. This is Sunday. Oh, but on Saturday, the seventh of December, we're going to get. At the point where I've been talking about, Mars is starting to move retrograde on six degrees in Leo. So Mars is finally in a fire sign, like out of that fallen sign of cancer, like acting on those emotions. But it's also those emotions which we have, which we cherish, which we boldly act on, which we may boldly act on. Now I'm going to yap again. So with the Halloween readings, I did a reading for a Cancer Rising. So Mars in the first house, I act out of my emotion. And she told me like, I want to act. I told her, stop, do not act with Mars in the second house of Leo. So because of my value, I feel like I, uh, I should do not. Because in this retrograde, maybe you're like, ooh, I'm so happy I didn't do that. Ooh, I'm so happy I didn't do that. Ooh, I'm so happy I was ahead of myself to say, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do that. Because you also have to be bold enough to say, I'm sorry, I'm still learning, I'm still new here. I was just trying. Be fair and honest to yourself, but do not act too bold or reckless. And remember to let time run its course. Remember the little short I did about the Leos? Do you even read the description? Well, I'm going to tell you about the description. In the description, I said something like, let time run its course. Because Leo, in its opposition, has Aquarius. And Aquarius, the old ruler, Saturn, father, linear time. The current ruler, uh, ruler Uranus, is the sponta spontaneity, um, relative time. Everything with time. So those planets are furthest from home. Do not really like it in Leo. And that's how I made those shorts. But they do not like it in Leo. Either way, Leo doesn't know how to work with time. That's why we're filming in the dark right now. <laughs> but be okay with time letting its course. As later in the day, Mercury in retrograde will be in that mutable square with Saturn. So mutable, be flexible enough, be agile enough to change, to change your approach, your mindset, your view, whatever. Oh, wait. Remember when karma hits, it uh, hits unexpectedly. Karma always hits unexpectedly. Saturn, planet of karma, uh, always hits unexpectedly when we focus on ourselves. When we start investing in ourselves, when we choose ourselves first. Choose yourself first. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the freaking chair down. Or else you need to buy a new one. So, invest in yourself first. Keep the chair alive. Keep the chair exactly where it is. And let them be hating like, oh, she still has a chair. I wish she threw it at my head. Throne. <laughs> Uh, mm, let karma do whatever karma does. Focus. Mercury retrograde in uh, in Sagittarius. Mutable fire. That mutable energy. I will invest my energy in me. Jesus, what a dramatic... <laughs> what a dra I'm gonna keep it all. What a...
had a dramatic week. I'm going to keep it all because if I tell you about it, you wouldn't believe me. So, Jesus. Later in the day, Venus will enter Aquarius. See, this has the dominant phrase, I love. And it's all about our values. It's the material that we value and the relationships that we value. But let's focus on those relationships for a bit as Venus is entering a air sign, the fixed air sign of Aquarius with the dominant phrase, I know. We all know that all good things come to an end. Bless Nelly Furtado. She's a Sagittarius, I guess. But all good, uh, all good things come to an end. And whatever comes to an end must. I mean, like, if the world's supposed to come to an end, of course it has the end of the timeline. If flowers, their life, is supposed to come to an end, it, it's, it's already written. It's already done. So let those things go. Let those things flow. It's not about friends anymore. It's about the peers. It's about the tribes. Do you really think, like, friends from high school are going to go all the way? You know, it's that one person or those two per uh, two, two people. Or if you're in a really good, big, uh, big school, big high school, whatever, you will have more people, this group, your group, with which you try, to which you go. But some stay, some go, and you just let it go. Because, yeah, relative time, all good things come to an end. Love with your friends. Aquarius um, rules uh, the peer-to-peer -peer relationships, right? So, and also the friendships and stuff. Let the friends go. And what makes us peers? Because I also I, I just experienced something later in the day. Venus will, of course, be in a conjunction with Pluto in Aquarius. So all that Aquarius, I know fixed air has the power of the intellect. You know so much better. Relationships bring lessons. Take uh, those lessons, learn from them, and end those peer-to-peer -peer relationships as you evolve, as you grow. Some people grow further. Okay, let them go. You are a house owner. I am not. I'm a house renter. Whatever. Or maybe you, uh, you're you both house renters, but when, you remember, one has children, the other doesn't. One has a promising career, and the other doesn't. Mm, real life experience again. At some point... At 22, I had to tell people, like, if you don't have a house, if you don't have a uh, have a driver's license, so you don't have, need to have a car, but you ha need to know, like, this is what is expected from me as a driver. Remember that story time I told you? You need a house, a driver's license, and a full-time job. If you don't have those three, or if you don't have two of those three, I cannot hang with you because you do not know what responsibility is. You do not know what kind of responsibility I carry from day to day. And next to that is also the night shifts, but let's not let's not talk too much about that. And at the end of the day, I have told you my values. I have told you my boundaries. At the end of the day, I told you this is what I can have and this is what I cannot have. And if you, if someone else chooses to exceed those boundaries, isn't it a choice? Isn't it a choice to disrespect your life? You're not peers anymore. You need to skedaddle and grow out uh, grow apart and grow apart to grow stronger as we end the day with the sun being in an opposition with mercury with jupiter moving retrograde in its detriment sign of gemini i'm going to suppose we all know what i'm talking about right now but we shouldn't be making ourselves bigger or smaller so others can feel comfortable I'm going to buy the Thai high Adidas, uh, Adidas, Thai high stockings. Boy, I rem I don't really like uh, brands, and there are a lot of people who don't like brands. But sometimes others are like, "Oh, you can't afford it," and I remember that like I can't afford it, and I started wearing brands, and I re I felt so uncomfortable. It's not me. I'm not going to pretend that I'm bigger just so I can fit in. And I'm not going to pretend to be smaller just to fit in either. Be you. Stay true to you. Stay true to uniquely you. So. And, yeah. 
if these are not your people, they're not your people. We're going to like end the week <laughs> in 21 minutes when Neptune is starting to move direct again on 27 degrees in Pisces. Uh, real quick, 27 minus 24 is 3 Gemini degree. Gemini, mutable air. Wants to be here, wants to be there, adjusting to everything and everyone. Focus. Be so effing for real about who you are, what you are, what you want to present and let out to the world. The only one depending on limiting beliefs is you. Who are you keeping those illusions in place for? <laughs> yeah, who are you keeping those illusions in place for? <laughs> okay. Who this? Oh, who this? That's the Leo Aquarius. But this is like... <laughs> Either way, um, stop keeping illusions in place. Who are you even keeping those illusions in place for? Do they even care? Let's start with that. Do they even care? As we're going to end off the week with the first quarter in Pisces on 17 degrees. And 17 degrees is the Leo degree. <laughs> Okay, Leo is very expressive, right? What did I write down? What belief? Oh. Yep, yep. And this first quarter, <laughs> this first quarter is ruled by Neptune that just started moving direct on 27 degrees again. So that first quarter is a time to gain some things in order to go further because we're growing, the moon is growing mutable in that flexibility gain a little bit a bit of flexibility okay i'm going to go to my paper now what belief do you have to change in order to fully execute your role so mm, if i would believe like i do not deserve to be on the internet i do not deserve to have my own youtube channel and stuff how can i execute my role over here properly i'm going to stop because there's something in my nose but What belief do you have? Is it a true belief? Stop being so dependent of others. Stop being so codependent of others. Because Pisces likes it. Like, are you okay with this? Are you okay? With okay, we're going to do it. Do you think someone is okay with me being over here wrecking everything out of nothing? <laughs>